As you've been observing the service and the response of the ladies here at Lowell Correctional Institute, I'd like to just uh, uh, speak uh, and ask for you to look at your life and, and just to think about how life is a series of blessings and storms, blessings and storms sent and allowed by Almighty God for the purpose of God receiving glory and for the purpose of His kingdom being advanced and for our relationship with Him to be demonstrated. And when those storms, those difficulties come into our life, there's a bigger picture that God wants to do in molding and shaping us into the image, the character of His Son, Jesus. And you know, I believe at the uh, crossroads of that blessing or that storm in our life, there's a, a decision to be made within our spirits. And we can either believe the lies of the enemy or we can choose to trust God to work through that event. There's many lies that Satan wants to put into our lives, into our minds. I'm not good enough. I'm a failure. I can never measure up. I'm not loved. There's many lies that Satan wants to put. And if we believe those lies, then that becomes the lens through which we see events and people and circumstances that enter our life. And Satan is seeking to destroy us through that. But, uh, you know, it's our response to those difficulties that validates our relationship with God when that response is one of faith and trust in the Almighty. And so I don't know what that pain or that difficulty may be in your life that God is asking you at this point to say, I'm going to trust Him with this. There may be a silent scream that's so loud in your mind that you can't hear anything else. God's saying, don't become angry. Don't become fearful, frustrated. Fear, trust, trust me with that. And so right where you are, just take a moment to go to God in prayer and say, Dear Jesus, I want to trust you with this storm that's in my life because God I know you have an eternal purpose an eternal plan that you want to accomplish through my life God bless but I'm at the point of breaking at the place where I reside when I'm at the stage of shaking my head as I look back on my life when I'm halfway through the grief but not quite through the end When I cannot see the ending Or which road I'm supposed to take All I know to do Is lift my hands to you Take all of my life All of my life And make something beautiful Beautiful, so all will see your work in me as you make something beautiful. When I'm tired of pretending and I can't recall my lines, do I say I'm barely breathing or just say I'm doing fine? That there is a yearning for the hurting to subside, but not at the risk of missing what you're doing with my life. All I know to do is lift my hands to you. I open my hand, trusting your plan to make something beautiful so all will see your work in me as you make something beautiful. Make something beautiful. Cause all I know to do is lift my hand to you All I know to do is lift my hands to you Take all of my life All of my life And make something
within your heart, within your life. He wants to do something beautiful. He's calling you to be people of faith, to step out. You know, Satan is going to continue to put those lies in your mind. It's not fair. It's not right. Being fearful, but don't believe those lies. Don't believe him. Trust in the Almighty. God will do abundantly above all you could ask or think. That miracle that you need, continue to cry out because God will do in his timing exceedingly abundant above all you could ask or think. That's our God. He